Hey guys, Kyle here with another OpenCV tutorial for you. We uh, are going to learn how to write to a video file today. And in doing so, we're going to write a small program where we're able to uh, start a recording, pause, continue recording, and then when we're done, we can save the video file and uh, start a new recording if we like. So uh, let's get started. Now this is going to be a pretty basic tutorial, however it's it's going to be an essential part of a uh, future tutorial where we're going to be using video writing capabilities. And there are a few parts in this program that we're going to be going through today that require some uh, configurations really specific to uh, each individual's uh, computer system properties. And as usual we're going to start out by downloading the source file from the link in the description. Next we're going to open up Visual Studio and create a new project. We'll name it My Video Writer. Click OK. Um, we're going to be, as always, uh, make an empty project, make sure it's a console application. The next step is to uh, go to the property manager and add in our property sheet for uh, OpenCV. Um, you can just click property manager down here or go view property manager same thing uh, click here and we're going to right click on the debug folder and we're going to add our existing property sheet if you haven't uh, set up a property sheet you can just follow the tutorial uh, I'll put a link in the top right corner here uh, and you, you just go through that get it set up the same way that I have mine set up just so all these tutorials um, we're just we'll, we'll have the same configurations I called mine debug243. Now whenever you create a uh, Visual Studio project, whenever you create a new one, it uh, it makes a couple subfolders for you. Uh, mine are in my documents, then Visual Studio, uh, projects, and then whatever you named the project, we named it my video writer. Um, and head in here as well. And Yours is probably going to be the same, but we're going to want to put the source file that we downloaded. You can just download it right into here, though. Uh, I saved mine to my desktop, so I'm just going to you can just copy and paste it in there. We can then head back to Visual Studio and right-click on Source Files, and we're going to add an existing item. Uh, and you can see it's going to be in here, but we have to add it to the project. Open it up. Sorry for any of you who already, you know, know how to set up a project. It is a pretty easy process, but a lot of people are relatively new to OpenCV and C++ altogether. So let's just be patient for those individuals as well. And I like to start out my tutorials with uh, usually just I make a little program that captures the video from a webcam and displays it to the screen, just so we can, you know, start with the bare minimum and build on that. Uh, so if you click Run, you should see yourself on the screen. And we're yeah we're going to use those uh, that that video feed to uh, to do our recording. So if your uh, if your project was compiling successfully, that means you're ready to start coding with me here. So um, we're going to create a video writer object. Let's call it writer. Now, as you can see, we haven't initialized it yet. Um, there are a few values that we're going to have to pass into it, but we actually have to use uh, some properties of the video capture itself to properly initialize our video writer. So, if we, I'm just going to, you know, start to initialize it just so we can have a preview of uh, the stuff that we're going to need to get from our video capture object. So, go down to three out of three, and you can see it's going to require a file name string, and that's where the video is going to be saved, that's simple. Uh, this int 4cc, we're going to get to that later. What it is is a, a four character code, that's what 4cc stands for, of, of the codec that you're going to be using. Um, you know, there's like divx, uh, mpeg, it's, it's all, the, all so many different types of video codecs, and the one that's right for your computer, I there's no way of me knowing that. You're going to have to do it by trial and error, but we're going to get to that later. So, uh, the next argument is the FPS. We can we can get that from uh, our video capture object, and as well as the frame size, uh, we we can use the get command, which I'll show you in a second, uh, to get those properties. 
Uh, the last argument is is color. We obviously want to set that to true. It already is true. Um, so let's go let's go down here and we're gonna we're gonna make a a couple of variables. Now let's yeah let's begin by reminding ourselves what we're gonna need. Um, we're gonna need a, a file name string, a uh, four character code. Our uh, frames per second integer, and our frame size. Okay, so our uh, our file name. I'm just going to set it to my video, and it's going to be a dot .avi, and that's because I'm going to be using the divx codec, which is an avi. And so once we go through this next point here. Um, you'll be able to choose your extension as well. Uh, so this four character code, you can actually go to a website called uh, 4cc.org and then go to the codex and you see, you can see what I'm talking about, how about how many codecs there are. <laughs> and these, these four letters uh, are going to be their four character code. So I actually found, this one's pretty common, you know, MPEG-4, that's, you know, a lot of devices use MPEG-4, so that's why I chose div3, and I'm going to show you how to um, how to enter your four-character code and give it a shot to see if that's the right one for your computer. Okay, so, so our four-character code, we're gonna it's gonna be an integer, FCC, and there's a command. Uh, if you if you uh, click Control Space, it actually you can see a bunch of suggestions here. I'm pretty sure it's just called 4CC. Yeah, that's right. Uh, start the open bracket, and what this is going to want, it's going to want um, four characters, and those characters are going to be found from this list. And like I said, I'm going to use div3, so in capital letters, div3, with each character separated by a comma. A semicolon here. Okay, so our uh, FPS integer, do in FPS. I tinkered around and found that 20 seemed to be a good number. It's, it's one of those ones that you can play around with and uh, see what the quality of video comes out like. Uh, so the frame size, we're actually going to use a CV type called size. We call it frame size. And the constructor for uh, the size type. Uh, takes in first the width and the height of the of the frame, and how we're going to get that we're just, we're going to use the get command uh, from our uh, capture object. So we're going to say get, and then there's a property ID that you have to put in, and like I did before, I'm pretty sure it's called cap. But if you if you press Control Space, you'll get some um, some suggestions. So I think it's prop. frame width and then the next argument is just going to be height okay now that we have all our information to uh, create our video writer object we're going to uh, we're going to initialize it what we call it we call it writer so we'll say writer equals use the video writer constructor. Well the first argument is gonna be our file name, but it's actually it's actually not the file name. Sorry my mistake. It's it's also the location where it's gonna be saved, so I'm gonna save mine just at my D drive just for simplicity. You can save it wherever you like. So we'll pass in the file name. Next we'll pass in our uh, four character code, our frames per second, our frame size, and that'll be all. Now next we're going to want to see if uh, we've successfully, uh, if we're successfully able to open our uh, video writer. So as a test for that, we're going to test if it's opened. 
and we're gonna set. Sorry, we're gonna test if it's not open. And we'll just throw a little error message. We're also gonna throw in a get car statement here and return we'll return a negative one. So this will this will throw this prompt. It'll it'll wait for the user to press a key, and then it's going to return negative one to the main function. It's going to return that integer. So so your program is going to close. Okay, so now we're ready to start writing to the file. Uh, basically the same way that we are uh, reading the frame, we can just now write the frame. So use our writer object dot write, and we'll write our webcam feed to the file. And that's pretty much it. Uh, since we've set up our, our writer object correctly, we've you know specified a file name and its location and which codec we're going to use and also our frame rate and our frame size, we should just be able to click compile and record a long enough video such that it's going to start recording right away. So record a long enough video so you can convince yourself that it's working and that your frame rate is right. Um, make sure that you... Uh, hit escape. I've set up this uh, this switch statement so that's going to wait for you uh, to press a, a key and it's going to wait for the escape key because in order for the uh, video object it's going to call its destructor uh, sorry the writer object is going to call its destructor and it's going to save the the video file. It's going to finally finalize saving it so you, you have to press escape at this point. It's, it's going to want the, the program to be successful. If you were to just uh, let me let me uh, let me just open up the video file here. Make sure it's all good. You can see, oh yeah, but the the frame rate's a little bit quick on it, so I'll have to uh, I'll have to fix that. But anyhow, let's uh, let's delete this one, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a problem that you might face, and that's because your program uh, isn't exiting properly. So we'll start a new one. Start a new one. Uh, and instead of clicking escape and having it return zero and successful, I'm just going to click stop. Head over to our video file, and you can see you can't see the preview anymore. You try and open it, <clears throat> and since our program didn't close successfully, it didn't properly write the file. So make sure that you have uh, that sort of functionality in your code, such that I have here, such that uh, you'll you'll return zero when the when the program is over. Okay, so. Uh, if so, if yours is going too fast, much like mine was, change your lower your frame rate, do it to about 10 frames per second. Uh, you're going to want to change this if you're doing any computations within this while loop here. Uh, you might you're, you're going to want to kind of play with your FPS. It's kind of something that you're going to. It, it depends on your processing speed and everything. So try 10 frames per second. Record another video and see. Hello, see that it works. <clears throat> at that frame rate. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So uh, this, uh, the functionality of this program so far is, um, you know, it only starts recording as soon as we start the uh, program, as well as uh, you can only do one file, and the one that I showed in the intro there, you can, uh, you can do start, stop recording, and then you can start and uh, write a new file. It's going to increment a number in the file name. You can just write as many file names as you want. Uh, that I'm going to go through in the next uh, video just so that we can uh, work through any problems that this video might uh, might have. Uh, and as far as this these codecs are concerned, I would like it if uh, if you are having problems using, I don't know, div3 and you go through uh, the 4CC website and you find one, there's a lot of common ones that you might want to use. And if you're successful at that, if you could put down um, the four character code that you used as well as the extension of your file just so other people can, uh, you know, use ones that are also successful for their machines. Okay, so uh, I hope this video helped you and uh, I'll see you in the next one.